Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to show you how to solo fame farm in a 5.1 static group dungeon where the mobs are equivalent to tier 6. Now, this is a group dungeon, all right? And I know I've made a video on the subject before of the roast porks, but I'm going over it again for the new patch. As you can see, I'm faction flagged, and I want to go into more detail how it works and why you should do it and why it's really good. It's one of the best fame farms in the game. It's not something I like to talk to a lot of people about, but I might not even be playing in this next patch at anyway, and I have I have enough fame to max out all of my crossbows and all of everything I ever wanted, so I don't really need to fame farm anymore. Anyway, let's get into it. You're going to be using an 8.3 Great Axe. Yeah, everyone's favorite weapon. You're going to be using the middle Q, the very last ability, Raging Blades. And for the passive, you want every five normal attacks, you get damage resistance. This makes you tanky. You want a Scholar's Cow with the shield. This is going to sustain your mana while you kill these mobs with damage. You're going to be using a Hellion Jacket with damage. The reason you use Hellion Jacket instead of Spectre Jacket is because it's much safer. You can do bigger pulls with it, and it's just lazier, and you don't have to stress as much. All right? Now, you're also going to be using Guardian Boots with Toughness, Roast Pork, and Healing Potions. I use a Thetford Cape. You can also use a Demon Cape. I like Thetford Cape. I think overall it does more damage. Uh... You can use whatever cape you honestly want, though. I'm also going to be showing off uh, with 8.3 Satchel. And I have uh, gear swaps here. Mercenary Jacket, Elder's Torch, and Druidic Staff to solo the bosses in here for even more loot. So let's get into it. This is how the pull works. The way you want to do your rotation is you, you cast W, then Q to apply a Bleeding Stack, and immediately press E. And then after your E ends, you immediately want to Q again so that you can stack up the bleed so that they don't fall off. So let's get into it. So W, Q, I'm going to E. I don't need to use my shield here, but you do need to dodge the skill shots on the ground. So I'm going to hit him with another Q, and then I'm going to activate shield. Now I'm going to start auto-attacking and spamming Q. At this point, I'm going to press W and then R. Now, I don't have to press R here, but it does kill the mobs faster. And then I'm going to press F, and just face tank his whirlwind. Look at that. He, he barely took me down to half. Now, this is one of the times you want to pick up the silver. <laughs> the silver is actually pretty good to pick up. Now, did you see how much fame that was? That one mob gave 8.8 thousand fame. That's so much. That's almost like um, a tome, right? And you just repeat this uh, process throughout the dungeon. Make sure you dodge the skill shots. And if you use your Hellion Jacket, you can just stand in the Whirlwinds. You don't have to run away. Uh, but if you are lower spec, or you're not using 8.3, then yeah, you kind of would have to. Now, these little trees... Uh, they can't really hurt you as long as you keep moving. Like, you're completely safe as long as you never stop moving. And the cool thing about Great Axe is you can attack while moving. Now, I'm mashing spacebar, and what that does... Well, like, I'm holding right-click to move. And I'm mashing, mashing spacebar. So what that does is it's called orb walking. It's a Dota term. And it allows you to auto attack whenever your auto attack is off cooldown. I didn't have to either. I'm just doing it just because. You, you'll be getting tons of challenge points to level up your own guild. You'll be getting... Oops, I didn't mean to aggro those guys. You'll be getting tons of fame. Silver from the fame farms. And because you're faction flagged, if you're in a few zones away, um, you'll also be getting faction points and faction reputation. So this is one of the harder pulls, right? But it's still pretty easy. At least I think it is. Just make sure to dodge their attacks. And these guys have 10,000 HP each, right? Like, they're not really... Like, you don't want to mess around with these dudes. But because uh, we have Hellion Jacket, we have the Lifesteal Roasts, and we're dodging their attacks, we have the uh, Energy Shield so that we can get our mana back, we have pretty much infinite sustain on these guys. They can't kill us. We also have a healing potion to give us a ton of our life back if we need it, but we don't. So make sure you dodge their attacks. And look at that. It's like 8,400 fame, 76 faction points. It's 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 really good. Now, here's here's a few other tips, too. Um, the, the group dungeons um, that are the Grove Keeper dungeons, which are what I'm in right now, which is like the Earth people, the trees, and the druids, gives the best fame in the game. Uh, it's also the easiest. However, this mob here, the Keeper Earth Child, or the Earth Mommy, as it's been called, 
just skip that fight. Just run away because they buff they buff the mobs and make them pretty much unkillable. So I'm just gonna run out of aggro range of the Earth Mommy, and then I'm gonna continue the dungeon as normal. Now you can kill them, but you have to kite the mobs away from the ground buff. It's really annoying, or you have to switch your helmet so you don't have a shield anymore to the knockback effect. It's just a pain in the butt. I, I advise that you just skip it. Now, the best fame are these guys, the Earthkeeper Wildlings. These guys are so easy to kill. Like, just one E. They just die in one E, and look how much fame they're going to give. Look at that, 5,600 each. That was fi Oh, look at it, in a, in a, <laughs> a skill tome. 5,600 times 3. That, that was like 15, 16, maybe 17,000. Very easy stuff. Okay, so there's a boss, which we can kill. We have our, uh, we have our druidic staff and, and, uh, torch. So, boss fights actually take a little while, but, uh, anyway, that's the video. It's, it's really simple. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to continue the video. I'm going to show you the boss fight in case you missed the previous video. It's on my channel. It's how to solo outposts, and it's the exact same thing. Uh, uh, use the build in that video, which I will show off right now. Uh, it's this exact same build for uh, Mercenary Jacket. You'll use Bloodlust and Balanced Mind, and for Druidic Staff, you'll use Thorns with Protection of Nature and the passive Energetic. Now, I know our helmet gives mana. And that there is a defensive buff here too, but we don't need it. We just need more mana because this thing is mana hungry. So essentially you just cast thorns and then you auto attack the boss down. He's only got 20,000 HP. We're going to dodge the, uh, the attacks there. And there's nothing this boss can really do to us. And I know this is only a green chest. But hey, sometimes the treasure in, in these group dungeons are like four to 500,000. And sometimes they're like maybe 20,000. It, it really depends. So... If you want to solo the boss, great. Uh, you don't have to, though. Uh, most of the time when I'm just pure fame farming, I skip the bosses. And like I said, we have the satchel on, so it does take a lot of our silver away. I think we started at 15.5 and we're at 15.1, so we've spent, just in this video alone, 400,000. And I'm not even going that fast. I can do way bigger pulls of the Great Axe. Like, you can pull an entire room, and because you have the Hellion jacket to uh, sustain you, and the lifesteal pot roast, roast pork, then you just don't die, ever. Like, <laughs> let's see what loot is in this chest, guys. I do appreciate you watching. I know I've made a video like this before, but I didn't really go into much detail, and I like to show off because of the new patch and stuff. Oh, and um, you, can combine, you can combine your W uh, with your bloodlust so that you heal more. I covered this in the previous video. Check out my other videos, guys. Like, you're missing out. If you're just watching, like, just this video, okay? I have I have tons of Albion content on this channel. It will absolutely make you a better player. Just check them out. It's free. There's no sponsorships. There's no ads. Uh, there's there's no affiliate links, I guess. And uh, here you go. Here's the loot. <laughs> 8,367. Uh, it, it is the test realm, though, so there isn't really a black market to go around. Anyway, I'm Soul Bidgey. Thanks for watching. Be a bro and stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts or your... You're just not a nice person if you don't return your shopping carts, and I'll see you in the next one.